Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. Today I'm gonna to show you how I set up my boxwood backdrop. So if you wanna see how I did it, just stay tuned. Okay, so you're gonna start off with these boxwood panels. These are 18 inches by 18 inches. And if you look on the back, you'll see a grid here. And this is where you put the zip ties through to connect the panels. So I will give you the information of where I bought these. I bought these off of Amazon. And um, I believe they come in shipments of 12. And you wanna make sure, you know, when you're buying them off of Amazon, you first, you know, measure how big you want your wall. So I believe mine is eight feet tall by six feet wide, okay? Um, you want it big enough to where, you know, somebody who's six foot something can stand under and it, it goes even past their head. I'd say at least six feet of width will give you enough room for a few people to be underneath it at the same time to take pictures, okay? Okay, to make your backdrop, you wanna have your boxwood panels, cable ties. I would say get at least eight inch long. That's the very shortest you wanna get. A sturdy backdrop stand. Some scissors, some clamps. These are about medium size. And a dark green tarp. Okay, so I'm starting off with um, four panels. I actually already have my wall built, so these are the extra panels left over. So um, I'm just gonna show you how I attach them. So I'm gonna put the panels on backwards to where the grid part is showing. Okay. And then you wanna take your zip tie and you wanna put it through the corners. Now, I, you can put it through this part right here if you want. Um, I like to put mine through this part right here. I feel like it gives it a little bit more, you know, security. So you just put the zip tie through here. And then you put it through the corner of the other panel that's right next to it and you just put it through and you want to make sure when you're putting it through that you can hear that click if you can't hear the click of this uh, zip tie then that means it's on the wrong side and it's not gonna hold okay so make sure you can hear the click of the zip tie so you know um, it's gonna hold and so you just wanted to do it until the parts touch and make sure you keep adjusting it um, because once you get to a certain tightness on the zip tie, it'll be too hard to adjust it. So adjust it as you're tightening it to make sure that the panels are in alignment. You just keep going to about, I say about here. You don't want the panels to overlap. Um, you don't want them to overlap. And another thing too, if you notice right here, there's a little hole and there's a little connector part as well. See that right there? You can put that into the hole. Even though I haven't been doing that, but you can do that. It'll make it very easy um, to do it. Now, if you want to connect it this way, you can, but I would suggest using the zip ties <laughs> just in case this comes a loose some way. Maybe it's windy you know, and this is rattling and it comes loose. Um, yeah, I would definitely connect it with the zip ties. If not, you can just put one zip tie right here to make sure that you close this part up and that there's no, you know, you don't want to see a gap in between. So one zip tie should be good enough in the middle to make sure there's no huge gaps, okay? So what you want to do is you want to do that for all the panels. You want to connect on all of the ends so right here right here right here these panels right here and these and then make sure the middles are connected right here 
and right here. So I'm gonna go ahead on and do that for you. Walk in the room and everybody's got opinions, but I, I don't really care. I'm head to toe in my brilliance. You can look at my smile and let it shine on your diamonds, cause I'm, I'm way too high on myself. And you can't bring me down. Okay, so after you finish connecting the panels, you want to take a scissors, you want to go ahead on and cut the excess cable so it's not sticking out. Okay, so here is my wall that I already had made. It's six feet wide, eight feet tall. And I'm going to show you how I put this um, green tarp on the back of it. And the reason why you want to have a green tarp on the back is because it's very easy for the sunlight to show through this um, backdrop. So you want to put the tarp behind it so that it blocks the sunlight and it keeps that green color. You don't see the sunlight coming through. So you can see that I connected the tarp to the backdrop at the corners first before connecting them in between because I wanted to make sure that the corners did not overlap the backdrop. And like I said, it's bunched up in the middle, but as long as it's covering the entire back of the backdrop, you're not gonna be able to see the sunlight coming through, which is the whole goal. So now it's time to put the backdrop onto the backdrop stand. Okay, so I have that corner up there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start zip tying. The clamp gives me support so that I can hold this up and start zip tying it. And you wanna zip tie uh, at several points on here. So you're going to put the zip tie through the back grid, put it onto the pole, you can hear that click so you know it's on the right side, and then as you're clicking it, you're going to lift the backdrop stand up so you can keep it in its position, and you're going to click it as hard as you can against the pole. Okay. And if you need to move it over a little bit to make sure it's covering, then do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead on and connect this at the corner so I can have that secure. Left beat, but tonight you can't tell me nothing. I'm on this sexy beat. You can't say what you want to. So this is how it's looking so far. It's secured at two points and you're just gonna go down the bar um, securing it with the zip ties. I've never ever been so free. Might as well be on the ceiling cause I don't see you. And you can't bring me down, 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 down. You can't bring me down, 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 down. You can't bring me down so don't quit the music. I don't wanna lose this
Okay, so now I'm going to be zip tying the backdrop to the side right here. But in order for me to do that, I first have to raise this backdrop up to the height that I want it to be. Because if I start zip tying it now and try to raise it as I'm going, that zip tie will hit this part right here and it'll, you know, I won't be able to raise it anymore. So you got to raise it up first in order to zip tie the sides. Just for your information, these pieces of boxwood can come off and they can be placed back on. See, there's little notches here. And you can just place them right back on. So this is the finished product for the boxwood backdrop. The key takeaways from this is that you want to make sure you connect the panels at three points on each side. The top corner, the bottom corner, and the middle. That way you will minimize the gaps in the front of the backdrop. Also you want to make sure that you put that tarp on the back so that you can prevent the sunlight from coming through. You also want to use a very sturdy backdrop stand with weights, of course. This is a very heavy backdrop and it needs a lot of support. And lastly, you want to make sure that you connect that backdrop at several points at the top. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe for future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.